You see, the scriptures, the scripture, what the Bible, I love the Bible. What the Bible is, is the revealed pattern of God, example for us. Look, let me read Romans chapter, 5, Romans chapter 15 verse 4. Look at what the Bible is. Somebody say, oh, I, I, I don't read the Bible. The Bible is this, whatever, whatever. But let us see what the Bible is all about. Because many people don't understand that the Bible is a book for life. It's a book for living, profitable living, successful living. Somebody say it's, it's a book. It's a book. For successful living. For successful. How we can pattern our lives. Are you in Romans 15 verse 4? It said, for everything that was written in the past was written to do what? To teach us. So that through the endurance taught in scriptures and encouragement, they provide, we might have what? Hope. Hope of what? A certain future. Everything that was written in the past was written to teach us. To teach us. So that through the endurance taught in scripture, the revelation and encouragement, we might have hope for what a certain future. So the scripture is our teaching guide for anything we want to accomplish, anything we want to have, anything we want to be. Do you have the King James Version? Look at it here. Let's read some, let's go deeper here. Is God speaking to somebody already? It says, for whatsoever things were written aforetime, were written for what? Our learning. That we through the patience and comfort of scripture might have what? Hope. Hope about, you know, the outcome of my tomorrow. The thing has been written so I can have hope. That when I do this, you see many people suffer from hopelessness. Mm. You know what hopelessness? I, hopelessness is the reason for depression. Hopelessness is the reason for suicide, discouragement. Hopelessness is the reason for, you know, uh, sicknesses, the sickness, emotional turmoil. Because people don't know what's going to be, what's, what's going what's to happen to me tomorrow, what's going to happen. I don't know, their tomorrow is uncertain. But in the hope of eternal life, what God that cannot lie has promised. So he has given us a scripture so we can learn and say, look, if I do this, this is going to be the outcome of my life. Amen. Do you have the partial translation? Look at this now. We are reading the Bible, Romans 15 verse 4. Romans 15, the partial translation says, Whatever was written beforehand is meant to instruct us on how to live. Hmm. Powerful. Somebody say how to live. How to live. You see, you came to this world, you don't know how to live. You are following patterns and you are following examples. But I don't know whose examples you are following. You are, everybody is patterning his life after something or somebody. But it's good you have a guaranteed outcome for the pattern of your life. Amen. Because if you have chosen the wrong example, God forbid, you are, the person is in danger. Right. Yeah, people, you, because you see, you, you, that's why you go to, you learn from your teachers, you learn from your parents, you learn from your mother, today's mother, you learn from your mother, you learn from, you know, there are some women who are crazy. <laughs> they speak crazy, they talk crazy, you know, they are hot tempered. They do everything their mother did, and they are going to be exactly like their mother. Hello, somebody. Oh, yeah, because, oh, yeah, you learn how to cook from your mother. You learn how to insult people from your mother. You, you can learn also how to pray or how to bless people. You, you can learn many things, but you are learning. Yeah, you are learning. You learn, some people are learning from their teacher, you are learning from your friends, you are learning from your colleagues, you are learning from society, you are learning from movie stars, you are learning from all kinds of people. But if you keep, if, if you want to find out, don't find out who, this person I'm following, how did his life end up? That's why God is saying, please, don't even trust all those people. Trust me. Amen. To show you from God's word. Are you still there? Yes, sir. Are we to pity? We're still reading. Somebody says, speak to me, Lord. Speak to me, Lord. Oh, somebody says, speak to me, Lord. Speak to me, Lord. It's, you want a great life. You want a prosperous life. You want a successful life. You want a victorious life. A life of fulfillment. This is the key. This is the secret. He said, whatever we are written before, hey, it's meant to instruct us on how to live. The scripture impacts to us what? Encouragement and what? Inspiration. So we can live in hope. 
and what endure all, all things. things. We can have hope of a secure future. We can learn endurance so that even when I'm going through something, as long as I'm following the, 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 the plan, it's going to be completed. Amen. It's going to be perfect. It's going to come out well for me. Amen. Can I hear your amen? Amen. Oh, yes. That's what the scripture says. Whatever we are written is meant to instruct us. Mm. So get instruction from scriptures to be encouraged. You can be down. But when you are following the pattern in scripture, you're going to find out that you're going to come on top. No matter how deep down you are, if your life is patterned and got into God's word, you're going to come out fulfilled. Amen. Joseph was sold to slavery. He was sold, uh, uh, it, it was conspired against, he was lied against, he was sold, you know, uh, to slavery. He was put in prison unjustly. But Joseph said, I fear God. That means he was patterning his life after God's dictates. Mm. Guess what? From the prison, he became a prime minister. You can never go down trusting God. Amen. You can never stay down Amen. trusting God. Even if you go down, you're going to come back again. Up again. You can never fail when you walk with God because God has never failed. Amen. So when you follow his plan, his revealed plan in scripture for your life, you're going to have a victorious outcome. Amen. It doesn't matter how, how long it takes. Mm -hmm. Your life is going to come out victorious. Amen. Can I hear you? Amen. Amen. Look at that, look at another scripture here. Watch this now. First Corinthians chapter 10, verse 11. We're looking at the scriptures. Because many people don't know what the scriptures is all about. The scriptures is not a religious book, it's a way to live a, a successful, blessed, prosperous life. First Corinthians 10, 11. What, what are we on now? Are we still in the passion? Yep. Okay, let's see with the passion. It says. All the tests they endure on their way through the wilderness are a symbolic picture, an example that provides us what? With a warning. So we can learn through what they experienced. We live in a time when the purpose of all ages is now completing its goal within us. So beware. If you think it could never happen to you, List, list your pride because what? You're, You're down for. You see that? Beware. Don't say, oh, it's, you can predict. If, if you're a person of scripture, all you need to do, if, when, I'm talk, when, you are, when you're a person following God's plan, I can tell you how this person's life is going to turn out. Just, just let me see what the person is doing. And a person that is not is following God, you can tell how the person is going to turn out. It, it, you see, it's not a mystery. Amen. It's all there. But many people have not taken time out to follow the example mm -hmm. of how... There are things you do. Say, this person is going to prosper. It's going to succeed. No matter what, it's going to become great. Amen. Oh, yes. It's going to become successful. It's going to become rich. Amen. There are things you do. You're going, to, you're going to know how it is. Even when we're, when we're in college, you can see a person who comes to school, doesn't go to lecture, doesn't read his book. You can tell that this person is going to be, is going to be dismissed from school very shortly. You know, you know, it's the same way with life. When a person's life is not lining up with scripture, relationship, you, could, you can tell this relationship is going to crash. You can just tell how it's going to be because the person has deviated. A, a pilot... Who knows how to fly? Who is following a fly pattern? If he sees a plane gallivanting, gallivanting in there, he says, hey! He will call the tower and say, this, there's a plane, well, maybe it's a suicide uh, <laughs> bomber inside that plane. Beware, there's one plane I've seen the way he's going like this. That plane is about to crash. We don't know where it's going to crash into, but it's about to crash. Mm. That's the same way a person's life can be. My prayer is that your life will never be like that Amen. anymore. Your life will become predictable. That's why God is giving us this admonition. Can I hear you? Amen. Amen. Can you give me the NIV of 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 11? It says, These things happen to them as an examples and are written down as warnings for us. So God is warning us. But don't let your pride... <sighs> I, I can figure it out. I can I can figure it out. I'll find my way, <laughs> my friend. It's not really very. It, 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 you, you might not really find your way. <laughs> go go ask people who have said I'll I'll try and figure it out. And you see, and that's pride. 
God has given us shortcut. You know one of the most powerful statements Jesus made? He said, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceed out of the mouth of God. That's Matthew chapter 4, verse 4. He said, "What well, if you want to live, live victoriously. Learn to live a scripturally centered life. Yes. God is the one that has our best interests at heart. God is the one that wants it to be well with us. And he has shown us how we can be successful in scripture. Live a very, what? Scripturally centered life. If you want to live victoriously, if you want to live triumphantly, if you want to live a fulfilling life, I love what Apostle Paul said in 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 1. Look at what he said here. Paul, Paul had great success, and I love the TPT. It's clear there. He says, I want you to pattern your lives after me, just as I patterned mine after Christ. You see that? Paul is saying, I pattern my life after Christ. So pattern your life. Copy me. Follow my example. Hello, somebody. Amen. Follow my life. Copy my example. The same way I did. You see, anytime we talk about Jesus, Jesus is the, in his early ministry till now, is the most successful person that ever lived. But anytime you mention Jesus, you must kind of mention Paul. Because Paul has decided to pattern his life after Christ. The same kind of results they got. The same order of result, the same effects. Paul is as powerful. In fact, sometimes people, some people even more make more reference to Paul than even to Jesus. You might even think that Paul is another kind of Jesus. But it was because he has patterned his life after Jesus Christ. You see, the, the easiest way to succeed in life, the, it has been it has been said that the greatest secret for success in life is to find someone who has succeeded. In what you what you're trying to do, and copy the person. Amen. Follow the person. Do what the person did. You're going to have the same outcome. Amen. So easy. Hello, somebody. Amen. Yeah. Dovetail after that person. Do exactly what the person in any field, any career, any profession. That's the easiest. That is success 101. Amen. Whatever you want to succeed at. Find what somebody who has succeeded in doing that thing and do exactly what that person did, and you're going to succeed. Have you noticed that most of the countries in Europe, they are almost alike? Even in America, where we are, most all the cities, when you go to one city, they say they're trying to get to another city. Every city is patterned after another city. In fact, sometimes you'll be wondering, where am I? Am I here? Am I here? Because it's the same thing. But many people are trying to invent, to reinvent the wheel. <laughs> oh my God. May God have mercy on, on us in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah. So you see, Apostle Paul, he said the same thing. But amazingly, even Jesus said the same thing. Jesus said, he, we are talking about Jesus as successful. Jesus said, look, my life is not anything spectacular. My life is powerful because I have patterned my life after God. John chapter 5 verse 30. And I like the Passion Translation. John chapter 5 verse 30. Look how the Bible says here. See, Paul is saying, pattern your life after me as I pattern my life after Christ. Hello, somebody. Then Jesus also is saying what? Nothing I do is from my own initiative. <laughs> As for as I hear the judgment passed by my father, I execute. And my judgment will be perfect because I can do nothing on my own except to fulfill what the desire of my father who sent me. He said, look, there is nothing spectacular. I don't have any initiative on my own. And that was Jesus who, 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 who raised the dead, opened blind eyes, who spake like no man ever. And he said, I don't have any initiative. I don't have anything. Whatever I see my father do, that's exactly what I do. That's the same way Jesus had the same, that's how he got his result, by following the Father. In John 6, verse 38, look at what the Bible says here. John 6, 38, the NIV version. It says, I came down from heaven, not to do my will, but the will of him that sent me. I came not to do my will. 
but the will of him. So Jesus was saying, what was making his life glorious in his early ministry was that he was doing the revealed will of God, what God has said to him to do. Hello, somebody. Amen. So that's the secret for our lives. That's the secret for a great life. John chapter 5, verse 19 to 21. Look at John 5, 19. And I love the Passion Translation. Let's look at it here. This is Jesus speaking. Oh, I love this. Are you loving it? Jesus said, I speak to you what? Timeless truth. Timeless truth. What is the timeless truth? Say, the son is not able to do anything from himself or through my own initiative. He's, he's saying it again. I'm not initiating anything. I only do the works that I see the father doing. <laughs> For the son does the same works of his father. Because the father loves his son so much, he always reveals to me everything that he is about to do. And you'll be amazed when he shows me even greater works than what you've seen so far. For just like the father has power to raise the dead, the son will raise the dead and give life to whomever he wants. He can have the same results. Hello, somebody. So Jesus is saying, look, the secret of my life is I pattern my life after God. Paul patterned his life after Christ. What should we pattern our life? The same pattern. We should follow the same pattern. Let's follow the same examples Amen. in Scripture. 